Hello to everybody in YouTube land. You're here with Pony Boy. I uh, apologize, I've got a bit of a cold. I'm going to be getting a new mic soon as well, so these videos should start to sound quite a bit dramatically, you know, better. Um, so the song we're going to do today, I'm just going to teach you the first three chords, with the same chords in the chorus as well. I had to YouTube the video and listen to it, but um, the song is Lightning Crashes, and it's by a band called Live, and it's from their Throwing Copper album. So I'll play you the I'll play you the intro and then we'll list, I'll show you the chords and show you how to play it, okay? It's a great song. Okay, so great. That's the beginning of the song. YouTube it if you want to follow along. Okay, so the first chord is E, and I believe I may have taught it in one of the previous videos, but we'll go over it again. Those of you that aren't familiar with guitar tap, here's the E chord. If you're not familiar, all those numbers indicate are what fingers that we're using, okay? So for the E chord, we're starting on the first fret, which is here. So our index finger is going to be on this string, or excuse me, the third string middle finger on the fifth string of the second fret and your ring finger right underneath it on the fourth string of the second fret. So your E chord is alright okay now the trick to this song is not to just strum an open chord is to get the timing right. Now what's happening is there's a muting and a sort of stopping of the, str uh, stopping of the chord with the right hand so what you get is this sort of thing So just practice that a little bit with your right hand, and, and what I'm doing, you're just stopping the chord by putting your palm on, this, on all the strings, okay? So once you get that down, you'll, you'll kind of get the groove of the song. Now the second chord is a B chord of some kind, I'll bring that up, okay? Da-da, there we go, B chord. Now the B chord is on the second fret, so we're going to go from E, and then we're going to bar the second fret, and you're going to bring in your ring finger here on the fourth string of the, third, of the fourth fret, and the same, the pinky's going to go right underneath it on the third string of the fourth fret, okay? So your B chord is this. Right? Now if you're having trouble with bar chords, see how I'm just barring all that with my index? You can also put your middle finger on top of it and help, that helps that push down, okay? So it doesn't matter as long as you get the sound that you need, okay? So let's switch between A, <coughs> excuse me, a, or e, A, what am I talking about? I am sick. E and B, okay, so here's E. Got it? E. B. Okay, now the third chord is an F chord, and I'll Google that as well, bring up the F chord, okay. Now the difference between the F and the B is that you're adding your we're on the same fret, but you're going to add your middle finger, and you're going to take this shape, which was here, okay, so here's the B that we were playing, you're going to take the shape of your third and fourth fingers, right here, and you're just going to move it up one string, each one goes up one string, see? B, F, B, F, right? So practice that a little bit, and your middle finger is going to come in on the third string there, See that? Third string of the third fret. So your F chord, the third chord is this. Alright, now when you put all three of them together, you've got E, B, F. Okay, that's a bit sloppy, but um, again, I don't play with a guitar pick, I'm just using my hands. You're going to get a better sound for this particular song if you play with a guitar pick. It's going to help those, um, the sound of the strings a little bit better. So let's play it again, and we'll just play along with it. 
and you kind of get a feel for that. Well, that's pretty much it, and um, I hope that's helped you in some way. Have fun, and enjoy the song. <laughs>